Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to use the grading interface to RuneStone. So if you haven't seen the making an assignment video, you should uh, go back and watch that probably before this one. But let's go to the instructors page and we'll click on the grading tab. So there are two ways of doing grading in RuneStone. Uh, many things can be automatically graded um, and other things that can't be automatically graded can be manually graded. And this, this tab here helps you do both. So we've made a couple of assignments um, in this. Uh, this is my test class. So I'm going to select assignment here. And then the assignment that I'm going to select is problem set one. All right. And so you'll see right away once I select that problem set, um, we, we see down here, we get kind of a summary um, of, the, of the, any grading that I have done in the past. And we see that we've got this release grades button. So kind of like releasing an assignment to students, right? Um, on a lot of things, um, you don't want to release the grades for an assignment until everything has been graded. Otherwise, you, you know, you've got that one thing that you haven't finished manually grading yet and you've released the grades and then you get all kinds of emails from students saying, hey, how come I got a zero on this? So you didn't get a zero, I just haven't graded it yet. So we don't, we, we have this release grade buttons. Okay, um, so when we, when we want to auto grade an assignment, uh, one thing that we can do is we can just press this button. It'll automatically, it'll auto grade all the students, all the questions. So let's just do that and you'll see that we've got a little progress indicator here. Um, so that shows each of the students auto grading two items, score 10, two items, score zero, two items, score 20, and so on. And then it'll show you a little automatic score there at the bottom. Um, if you really are sort of perplexed by a grade for a particular student, you, you can click on this and it will bring you to the detail page. Um, for that student, in this case, Draco Malfoy, and it'll show you the questions that were a part of it and, and uh, what the student got on each one. So what we can see, and of course, if you want to get a preview of the question, you can keep clicking down and you can see, well, what, oh, he has none. What is this one? And it'll show us, oh, this is okay. So this is a uh, an active code question that we have to manually score, right? Because we've got to draw this picture. Okay, so if we back up, we're back at the interface here. Okay, so that's how you auto grade everything. Uh, but sometimes maybe you just want to come back and you know you, that you just need to uh, reduce something for one question or for one student. Uh, right now, you can't just sort of select a few students and a few problems and have it automatically grade the things that you've selected. You can select one student or you can select one question and redo the auto grading for, uh, for that. So maybe you have a student, for example, uh, who's come back and said, oh, um, you know, I have a, I, I had uh, some, I was ill or some valid excuse for why they needed to why they needed to turn in their work late. So let's say we just want to regrade everything for Ron Weasley. We can then uncheck this box because we know he did some stuff late. And this will allow us to select, to check uh, all of his work regardless of whether he had it all done by the deadline. And then we can click on the auto grade and display totals. And it'll say that it auto graded two things for him. And if that changed any of the statistics, that would also be updated down here in the grading summary table. So that's how you can selectively grade either one student or one assignment. Someday we'll try to make this flexible enough that you can select a few students and a few questions and it'll do the right thing, but it doesn't do that now. So if we want to now come back and grade that uh, question. So we can go ahead and we can select that active code question here. We can select all students and you'll see now 
code for all the students for this question just appears here. So uh, the timeline is here so you can, when you're grading, you can see if you're curious about how your student did this, you can see, you can click the run button. And of course, it'll go ahead and run the program. And Hermione being the good student that she is, she gets 10 points. Good job. You can see when the green when the boxes turn green here, the scores have been automatically saved to the database. Uh, Draco, he hasn't done any work, so Draco gets a zero, and he's a bad boy. So here's Harry. He got it right in the end, but you can see he kind of made a lot of kind of made a lot of trial and error there with trying a lot of different angles to see if he finally zeroed in on the one that kind of that drew him the star. So ultimately we can give him all 10 points for that. And but we might say try a little math next time. Right, so that's how we could, if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to go and actually um, look at a different problem besides this one that was auto graded. If you're just kind of curious to see all your students' answers, you can eliminate that, and we could select one of these other exercises here that was auto gradable and now we could come over and run it put in some values and there you can see down here it actually is showing us the the uh, tests that we have and that she passed them all okay so the other thing that you can do from this page Let's just reload the page. Is instead of grading an assignment, we could we could grade a chapter, right? So let's select the Python Turtle chapter, and now this is going to show us all the questions that are in here. Again, the, you kind of got to know with this one. Okay, I'm 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 going after this uh, particular question, so you might have to look at the look at the text there. And again, we could select either. Uh, one student or multiple students and then we can see how the answers are for the individual students. So this is kind of a useful one really um, when a student comes into your office and is working through a chapter and they say oh I'm just having a hard time getting this particular active code to work properly can you uh, you know can you help me out well you can you you know if they don't have their laptop with them or whatever you can go in through the through this grading interface and you can pull up uh, pull up the work that they've been doing so those are the two different ways that you can you can uh, both auto grade and manual grade um, as you saw for an assignment here we select a question and a student. We do have the ability to go in here and, and uh, manually override um, the computed score that the student got from the from the auto grader and from your manual grading. Okay. So with the grading done, right, then uh, we can all also go to the grade book and we can see for this problem set, we could see what each student has done in detail. And if we want to click on someone, we can click on their percentage and it'll show us their score that they got for each one of the, uh, each one of the problems in this, in this assignment. So that's how the grading interface works.